Virginia from Married at First Sight went off on Eric. Yes, her ex-husband, and y'all better believe that he responded back. Guys, here is the deal. We all know that Eric and Virginia, they were on Married at First Sight. They got married. They decided to stay married. However, they did end up getting a divorce. In present day, they are not together. But a day or so ago, Virginia actually posted a TikTok of herself saying that she was still kind of in this middle phase of still, you know, missing Eric and whatnot. And she decided to go out to lunch with him. They talked. It was so bad that when she met up with him, he was, I guess, driving her there or back or wherever and it got so bad that while she was in the car she had him stop the car get out of the car and uber home so if you're wondering what exactly went down well it was a couple of things we can go through them all number one in this tiktok virginia did say that eric is privileged and basically that he won't admit that he is privileged she also made comments about her you know this past situation that happened when she was a lot younger i don't know what it is i don't even run i don't even want to i don't really even feel comfortable making assumptions on what it is but she said that she had a situation happen when she was younger that wasn't good and Eric won't really acknowledge it and that she's trying to go to therapy and whatnot to work through it and that Eric is kind of just saying that you should just move on with your life and forget about whatever happened you know whatever it was and Virginia's like well I'm trying and you know he won't really have any sympathy for her I guess and it goes on because after she posted that TikTok story believe it or not guess who reached out to her Eric's mom who was on Married at First Sight a couple different episodes she never appeared to like Virginia she always kind of blamed it on the fact that it was just such a weird situation how they got married and all that kind of stuff but to me as just a viewer it did seem like there was more to the story that in reality Eric's mom just didn't like Virginia because she was kind of wild and I don't I don't know for sure but it, it it really appeared that she was not a fan of Virginia and she reached out to her saying this right there saying um Donna the mom reached out to her and just said grow up Virginia and Virginia took a screenshot and posted saying hey Donna it's not normal to still buy groceries for and clean the condo of your 35 year old son but I need to grow up. And then she also said, when you realize you forgot to block the ex-mother-in-law, ha ha ha. Oh, the text I could share that this one has sent to me over the months. And ironically, she'd end up deleting that story and then posting this right there of her dog saying, choosing peace today, I know my truth and what I have endured. And for now, that's all that matters. So if you're wondering, well, has Eric had a response? Oh yes, he has. Now I don't know who, when, where, or why, but he actually responded on Reddit under his name, Eric. And so I don't know why we have to give credit to Maps Fan for sharing this um, screenshot. No idea why he didn't just posted on Instagram like everyone else, but for some reason, he posted this long uh, little message on Reddit saying, this is Eric. You guys can hate me all you want, but that is simply not true of what she is saying. She knows I care about what happened to her in her past and that I wish it never happened to her. I've always said that and I always will. But when someone is trying to sit there and say that I'm privileged and haven't done anything for this country or actually given back, then that offends me. When she says my military history of almost eight years and deployed three times into harm's way to protect America isn't the same as giving back because I'm still paid to do it, then I'm sorry, but that offends me. I'll never post things like this that she does because it's a private matter and I wouldn't do that to her. Anyway, y'all are entitled to believe what you want and I'm not here to sway any opinions of me. I'm simply saying that what she said is simply not true on how I act or live out my daily life. So, whew, wow, okay. Okay, a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of stuff to think about. The Virginia thing, you know, I, I don't even know where to even go. I mean, the, the one thing I, I would love to ask all these people, and I, I know they would just lie, but the, the biggest thing for me is if you guys don't remember, but you know, a while, a couple weeks ago, they were on the Married at First Sight Couples Cam show as a married couple, and Maps fan, I've said this a hundred times, but Maps fan, connected the dates of Eric's birthday and the episode and all this kind of stuff. And it really was like in their divorce records at this time of filming, they like weren't really together. But on couples came, it was like they were, I mean, they were still married and happy. So I was just like, what is going on? And I kind of called their BS. I think these two always had issues. I think they're always going to be fighting. And the thing for me is this happened so long ago. They split up in like April. Here we are in September. Why are they still communicating? And it was a married at first sight, you know, divorce. We're not talking about a divorce of years and years and years. It's like, move on with your lives. So, um, I don't even know. I personally just cannot figure out why Virginia went out with the guy, but I, you know what? I get it. There's probably still feelings there. Maybe she just wanted to see him again. And hopefully this is the last minute they ever 
communicate ever again because they've had always issues. Politically, they were open about it. They don't agree. They don't see eye to eye at all politically. And not only do they not see eye to eye, they're both pretty verbal people. If they didn't see eye to eye, but they respected each other's opinions, then that would be okay. But they don't respect, they never respected anything when it came to their political views. She was firm. She was never going to even, not, not change, but she was never even going to open her mind to just understand where he came from. And he was in the same you know, situation. He never uh, saw anything that she was saying either. So they were a mess from the start. They should have gotten divorced on decision day, I would have personally thought. But I think there must have been some catch or something to that because it's like, I just, I don't, I don't know. I just, I think there must be more to that story because there's no way these two could not stand each other. They were constantly fighting. They went on the couples camp show. They never really said what was actually what was going on behind the scenes. To me, I kind of call some crap. But comment below what you guys think. Who's right? Who's wrong? Obviously, it sounds like Virginia had this really horrific, you know, thing happen to her in her past. And I hope to God, Eric did actually genuinely feel for. I don't really know. I mean, I don't even know. It's a sad situation. It's sad and scary and horrible, but I do wish that he actually felt bad for her, and maybe he did, maybe he didn't. We don't really know, but um, at this point, it's like, who's right, who's wrong? I think, honestly, Virginia, I think she had some wrong, and I think Eric has some wrong, too, and they can never see eye to eye, and they're always going to constantly be fighting, and that's just the gist of it. So comment below what you guys think, and if you are wondering, has any of the other Married at First Sight couples, you know, chimed in? Well, Jacob, who's with Jacob and Haley, he did end up getting a divorce. He did chime in completely on Eric's side. He went off on a Maps fan post, commenting like crazy. The gist of it, honestly, is he's friends with Eric. They still hang out, it appears. I think, uh, you know, Virginia and Haley still hang out, too. Not a lot, but relatively often. And I know, I know for a fact that uh, Jacob and Eric are friends. So it's like he was just defending his friend. He, I guess, sees more of where Jacob's coming from. But I'm not going to sit here and say either person's right or wrong. I think, honestly, they're both wrong. They both should not communicate at all with the other person. And that's just the end of it. That's just my view. That's my point. That's what I kind of think. You already know to make sure to comment below what you guys think. Well, all right, guys, Married at First Sight is still one of my favorite shows. And yeah, I'm just in this wishy-washy space. I love the previous seasons. I'm trying my best to get back into it. I know if you're wondering, I haven't been talking about the new season much at all. And I just... I'm trying. It just, it's the seam so dragged out and I just can't try not to force myself. I love this show. I always will, but it's like, why just drag? It's like my, one of my, my best friends who loved this show always said it. This is a show that should be about 10 to 15 episodes at absolute max. And it's like 20 something. So it's just, they really kind of drag it on, but it's still a great show. I am still watching it. I haven't been talking a ton about it because there hasn't been a whole lot of drama, but I will see. How, we'll see how the season kind of plays out and go from there. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Comment below what you guys think of Eric and Virginia and all this crazy Married at First Sight drama. And y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.